Grand Rising loved ones, welcome back to another episode of Healing Wisdom with me, your favorite spiritual advisor, Empress Oracle. How y'all doing today? How y'all doing? <laughs> How you doing? But um, anywho, I'm gonna get I, I'm gonna get serious. Okay, here we go. So today's lesson, guys. I know it seemed like I was like jokey jokey, but that's just my personality. But you know, if my personality is like a mix of serious and jokey. So let's get to the topic because this is the serious part. And I just want to say, excuse me in advance if I get emotional while I'm speaking on this topic because I am a person who expresses myself. And if I get emotional, it, it shit, it might happen. Who knows? I just learned this lesson in its entirety and completed this cycle in its entirety last night. It took me a full 37 years to fully learn in depth this lesson, okay? What I'm gonna talk to you guys about, changing the dynamic of a relationship, seriously, because it's not that I had an issue as far as treating people or doing unto others as they would do unto me, that's not that's not what the problem was. It's just sometimes you have to be that way with people who are the closest and nearest and dearest to your heart, you know? And it's, it's unfortunate sometimes. It really is. Sometimes it's your family. Sometimes it's your closest loved ones. Sometimes it's the people you thought you were going to spend the rest of your life with. Sometimes it's your best friend. Your ace boom coon. You know, a lot of times this has happened to me so much. And I would always get my feelings hurt because me being the person that I am, anybody who knows me know anything that I do, I put my full 100% into it. I just feel like if you're going to do something, you might as well do it big, right? You might as well put your all into it. Otherwise, why are you doing it? Why? right so anything that i do if i'm if i'm your friend if i'm loving you i'm going to do it 100% to the best of my ability i'm going to give you what i know you need because i'm an empath baby i'm an empath baby you feel me i'm an empath you don't have to tell me what you need i can feel it and my other empaths you know that so you know anytime you come around anybody who is feeling some type of way or going through something, you automatically pick up on it. You feel their energy. You feel their vibe, right? Okay, so they don't have to tell you. They might tell you they're doing fine, but you'll see otherwise. You'll feel otherwise. And if you're a person like me who operates off of love, I am love. I give everyone I come across love. Everyone. Period. Period. I love you until you show me that you don't want me to. And that is everyone I come across. A lot of people on social media who know me know that. You guys, I know. You can say it. Honestly, you know that. You know the type of person I am. I, I mean, I'm, I'm an alpha female. So I come across as what a lot of people may consider aggressive, but really, I'm just assertive. You know, and a lot of people say initially... When they meet me, I appear intimidating because my resting bitch face is superior. Look, I love mean as fuck, don't I? <laughs> but I'm not, right? So a lot of times people prejudge me. And a lot of times that may give people preconceived notions about you. If you look a certain way and if they're not confident in themselves or they don't love themselves enough or appropriately, if you look a certain way and they might look just as good as you. But if they don't feel the same way, if they don't have that self-respect for themselves, if they don't have that self-love for themselves, if they don't have that confidence, that hope for the future, they're not going to view you. They're not going to treat you that way. And then what's going to happen? Yes, exactly. You're going to end up getting your feelings hurt, right? And that's what a lot of us women, I know we have that issue because women, we love hard. We love hard, period. It doesn't matter if it's a dog, a baby, <laughs> a, a makeup brush. We love hard. 
We love hard. That is part of our nature. That's what we were put here to do, right? And then, man, you were supposed to be put here to protect us, right? That was the dynamic that was originally intended. But here we are nowadays where we have so many women getting their hearts broken, right? We have so many women that just, they, they can't control their empathy is what I'm going to say. Men as well, men as well, because you, we all are experiencing this. And the problem is that regardless of what we feel, how people interact with us, we should let that establish the dynamic of the relationship, right? Exactly, exactly. But the thing with that is, what about when it's family? Exactly. That's when it really hurts, right? I know, I know. But the thing is, what do you do then? That's your family. You've known them your whole lives. What do you do? A lot of people feel like they're indebted to stick, stick around and treat certain family members a certain way when they're not getting that mutual respect back in return. And you don't have to. I don't care if, I don't care what the family dynamic is. I don't care if it's the matron of the family. If she's not treating you correctly, what do you do? Do you just not say anything because it's the matron of the family? No, you stand up for yourself. You stand for something or you fall for anything, okay? I don't care who it is. I don't care who it is. But what really messes you up is when it's a loved one, how long do you keep on going? How long do you keep on trying? When it's your brother or your sister, huh? When it's your child, when it's your husband, when it's your grandmother, when it's your aunt, when it's your favorite cousin that you grew up with, tight like a pair of butt cheeks like this. No, butt cheeks be like this, but you feel what I'm saying, right? What do you do? Hmm? You're always going to love that person. Family is always going to be there. But I know you guys know loyalty is not hereditary. Integrity is not hereditary. It's not. And a lot of times you can try to be your best self with people and it's just not received well. It's just not received well. Sometimes, and this is what bothers me, my light irritates a lot of people's demons, okay? And that's fine. But when it's the people that are closest to you, over and over in life, when you're nothing but kind and loving to them, right? And you always do for them like you would for yourself because, hey, isn't that what we were told to do? Isn't that what we were told to do? What would Jesus do? Right? Christians, that's what we were told to do, right? It's unfortunate. And that's the thing right there that makes a lot of people stop believing in religion and Christianity and whatnot. Because it's like, how can you keep on being forgiven and being hurt? And people, because they know this and they know the type of person you are, they keep on taking advantage of you. They're going to keep doing it. Because they know that you have a good heart. Because they know you're an empath. So you know their past. They've been hurt. They've had a hard life. Blah, 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 blah. All that bullshit. Everybody has a story. That's cute. That's fine. You know? But they know that there's heartstrings attached. They know that you're a natural born lover. You know? People will take advantage of you. Even family. Even your significant other. Even your best friend. Even your mom. Even your grandmother. Even your cousin. Yes, even your uncle. Yes, everybody, yes. Yes. So with that, and you can't say, because I know a lot of people feel like you shouldn't have certain expectations for people and stuff, you know? 
because I remember one time when my good sis had said, Cass, I don't know if you remember that we had a conversation one time and you said, that's why you have been so hurt so much that you don't have like expectations from people anymore. And I don't agree. I don't agree. I've, and I've heard a lot of people say that and I don't agree. I don't. Because let me tell you something. I'm a woman with pride. I carry myself with pride. I carry myself like the queen that I am. I consider myself royalty. And I treat others that way as well. Because when I look at people, male, female, whatever, I don't give a fuck what color you are. To me, I look at you as though you are a king or a queen unless you show me otherwise. Fuck with that mouth say. Actions speak louder than words. Okay? And I feel as though everybody deserves an initial amount of respect off top. That's just common courtesy is what it's called. I expect that from others upon meeting, upon interaction. And I know they know that. So when that's not returned, when those common courtesies are not returned, when people lack consideration for you, but they know you'll always be there for them and they do it over and over and you continuously tell them, at some point, guys, you have to realize that maybe it's you. I had to realize... <laughs> It's me. It is me. It is me. I'm giving too much of myself. I can't help it. I can't help it. I love to do it. I do. I love to help people. You know, I love to help with the things money can't buy. I feel like that's true abundance. I want to see everybody do better. I want to see everybody great. Okay. I guess I, I suffer from over hyperactive imagination a dosis. <laughs> so when I look at everybody and everything, it looks amazing. It looks fantastic. I see the highest form of it, the best in everything. I love, that's why I love everything and everybody because I see the best automatically. But once you show me something that is not that, the dynamic of the relationship will change no matter who you are to me in my life. And that's the part that I had to learn last night. That's the part that I had to learn last night. It was never an issue with other people, but when it's the people closest to you, it's hard to do and it takes longer. Sometimes it can take years. Sometimes it can take years. Ain't nobody got time for that anymore. Ain't nobody got time for that anymore. I can't speak for all of y'all most of the time. But right now, I'm going to speak for y'all too. Ain't nobody got time for that anymore. Period. Period. Okay. Yeah. And it's painful sometimes when you realize that you just can't love on somebody like you want to. Because for me, loving on people feels good. It makes me feel good. I'm To me, I'm like that. You know that emoji that has all the hearts on it and it's just looking like... Mm. That's me. That's how I like to love on people. But everybody just doesn't deserve it like that. You know? Some people, you have to change the dynamic of the relationship. You know? Especially if you're somebody who has healthy boundaries like myself. Hey. You're not respecting those boundaries? Okay. Dynamic changed. Dynamic changed. Even now, even when it comes to family for me, that dynamic has changed. We, Yeah, we're still family, but I know how to rock with you, family. You know? And it doesn't always have to be in an ill-mannered way or an ill-intended way. And that's what people fail to realize. You can change the dynamic of relationship 
and then not be negative. People always think if you're not a yes person or all up under somebody's ass or doing everything people ask you to do and always smile in their face, people feel like if you say the word no, you have automatically changed the dynamic to something negative. And that's not the case. It's just don't let anybody use you, even if they're family, even if they are family. Okay, because everybody knows we all have different love languages. For me, I love to use words of affirmation. Sometimes those words may come out more assertive than other times, but it's always from a place of love. And it, that, if you pay attention to what I'm saying and not the tone, you know that. You know that. However, when it comes to establishing or changing the dynamic of a relationship to where you are not overextending or overgiving more of yourself. And I'm not talking about physically. I'm talking about emotionally. I'm talking about mentally. I'm talking about spiritually. Not physically, not materially. Not those surface basic bitch things. Not those. The things that really count. Okay? How you know when to change the dynamic of a relationship? How I finally, last night, realized at 37 years old, how to know when to change the dynamic of a relationship with people, anybody, including family, loved ones, makeup brushes, eyelash glue, everything is, I, I just went ahead and apply deadly force <laughs> to it. My law enforcement, y'all know what deadly force is. Of course, you know, I shifted a few things around, but I'm gonna help y'all so you know how to identify when it's time to change the dynamic of a relationship. You, you know it's time to change the dynamic of a relationship with anybody who is not feeding your spirit the way you are, you are attempting to feed theirs. When all lesser means of communication have failed, or cannot be reasonably employed, then it's time to change the dynamic. You've tried everything, every way to communicate that you're not being loved the same, that you're not receiving the same, that there's no balance or integrity in the relationship. You've tried every way to communicate that through actions, through words, by example, you know, when all of that has failed, that's when it's time to hang it up. Hang it the fuck up, period. I don't care who it is. You don't have to be mean about it. You don't have to be rude. It doesn't have to be ill will. It doesn't have to be ill feelings or ill intentions. And that's what people always think. They always think. That just because the dynamic of a relationship has changed, that it has to be negative. And it does not. It does not. It's just now you know how to deal with that person. And whereas you had normal healthy boundaries with other people, their boundaries may be a little bit higher, a little bit stricter, a little bit harder because the dynamic has changed. That's all. You can still treat them the same. You can still love them because if you're anything like me, you can't help but to love people. I love people anyway. I love people unconditionally. You do me fucked up, I will love you anyway. I might never fuck with you again, but I will always love you. And I will always pray for you and wish the best for you. And if ever you are about to die and drop dead, I will have mercy on you and help you. If nobody else is around to help. <laughs> Just saying, okay? You know? But it is what it is. But that's when you know it's time to walk away and be the mature person. Sometimes less is more. Sometimes you don't have to say anything. Okay? Especially if you don't have anything nice to say. Remember, we talked about staying on that throne, right? Actions always speak louder than words. In my book, anyway. I'm all about the action. Action. You feel me? But anyway, it hurts us, especially when we know that the other person who we trying to give this good love to 
is hurting internally in some way, shape, or form. Because most of the time as empaths, we feel the hurt and we wanna we wanna soothe it. That's what we do. Empaths are natural healers, right? But sometimes you just can't help everybody. And you just have to know when to walk away. When to stop fucking with them like that. Because hurt people hurt people. Real shit. Family and all. If, you're, if your mom had a traumatic childhood and she wasn't raised right and she wasn't loved correctly, she probably didn't know how to love you correctly growing up. And now you're fucked up. Right? And you receiving fucked up love, getting hurt all the time. S setting yourself up to get hurt. I feel like at a certain age and time, we just know better. I think I heard when I was like younger that like in Christian religion, and I, I might be wrong, I don't know because I'm not religious, I'm spiritual. But I think I had heard something like, children start get, start getting held accountable for their sins at like the age of 12 or something. So I feel like at that point, that means that God, Spirit, somebody knew that by that age, you knew you had enough discernment that you were blessed with before you came down here, that you knew the difference between right or wrong. You have that conscience, all righty? So if you continue to do that, what happens? You get turned over to that reprobate mind, right? No conscience anymore. Or you just shove it down. It's going to back you up. You're going to get backed up like that. You're going to get backed up like that. And then you know what happens when you get backed up like that? You're stuck. Mm. But, guys, the people who it always tends to seem like the dynamic of the relationship with me, at least, has to get changed are, you know, people who like to control or manipulate you. People who don't want love. People who don't love or value themselves, so therefore they can't love or value you. And people who just straight up fucking toxic. I literally have been dealing with all those types. All of them. But I feel as though it was so I could learn these lessons to help you guys. You feel me? My tattoo is on my neck, y'all. It's just so bad right here. I be trying not to scratch it. It's just like one spot. Woo! But yeah, whenever whenever you come across people like that who can't be, they can't even be, they can't even keep it 100 with you. They have to automatically switch into manipulator mode to get something. They can't just come straight out and ask you, hey, can you do this for me? Hey, can you do that for me? They automatically got to go into manipulator mode. Them the ones. Them the ones. Automatic guy got to go into ma manipulator mode. Woe is me or something. So you be like, oh, what's wrong? What is it? Or they trying to play the mind games with you. Cut them out. The people who don't want love, they act like they do, but they really don't. Kind of like, what was that? Was that that State Farm commercial with the with the with the man, the old ass man with the fishing pole, and he had it, right? The dollar bill, and she was trying to grab it. And he's like, oh, you gotta be quicker than that. Dumb type, dumb type niggas, come out. People who don't love or value themselves, so they can't love or value you. Now that's the one. I deal with the most. I see everybody's words. And I just keep coming across people who don't see theirs. They don't see it in themselves. You know? And therefore, even though I show them how, and even though I know they know how to reciprocate, they just can't. Because that's not what they do with themselves. It's no offense. No hard feelings. You can't even be mad at them. You can't even be mad at them. You can't even. And then the toxic ones. Whew, they like the game. Some people like being toxic, you know. Because being normal, being happy, to some people is boring. 
it is so being happy to some people is boring if they just don't have no drama going on they don't know what the fuck to do they don't know what to do they don't know what to do life got to be like jerry springer or something is not right instead of instead of expelling that energy into something positive something progressive they rather be caught up in the fuck shit they rather be caught up in the fuck shit ain't nobody got time for that I, well, some of y'all might, but sus, you need to stop. It's time to cut the shit. It's time. And sometimes, you know, when you love somebody or you know they're younger than you, and I'm not, I'm not even just talking about age-wise. I'm talking about emotionally, spiritually, hell, maybe even mentally. Or you know they're traumatized. You know they're emotionally scarred. You know they're hurting. And you're a healer. But then when you realize that they don't want to heal, because then if they heal, what else will they have to do? Hmm? If they heal, they can't be a victim anymore. What, what, what will be their story then? What do they have? What else do they have going for themselves if they heal? Nothing, right? No sob story, nothing to pull into empaths, you know, and all the women or feminine energies with hearts because... Feminine energy is the one that likes to nurture and love and heal. And that's why we have to be balanced as well, guys. Because if you have too much feminine energy going on, whether you're male or female, people may tend to take advantage of you. They may tend to take your niceness for weakness. So you have to set those boundaries with them. And then once you set those boundaries, why y'all ain't tell me my scarf was fucked up this whole time? Anyway, once you set those boundaries with them, if they can't respect those, if they act like they don't know what healthy boundaries are or they give you a blatant fuck you by doing elsewise anyway, you change the dynamic. Oh, the dynamic can also be changed to off. Don't forget that. That's how I like to change the dynamic. But when it's family, it's a little bit harder. And that's what I had to learn all the way last night. And now I'm here to share with you guys. Okay? So, whew, look at that. I had a lot to say, y'all. I had a lot to motherfucking say. Hope y'all like this. I hope you did. I hope it helps somebody because... This lesson was very painful for me. It was very painful. If my eyes look like I've been crying, it's not. I'm just high. But it was very painful for me. It was. And I did cry last night. My feelings were really hurt. When it's your loved ones, you know, people that you would do anything for. And they can't even do the smallest thing. When people can't communicate with you effectively. When they just don't want to love you right. You just got to let it go, guys. You just got to let it go. Y'all thought I was about to get like, hmm. no, y'all just got to let it, let it go. Basically. But, yeah. I'm glad we had this talk, guys. And I love you. And I hope that's able to help somebody. And if you don't have the strength, just pray for it. Just pray for it. Ask God or whoever it is you believe in to give it to you. And just take it step by step. You know? People always be trying to do these major moves and shit. So just, eh, 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 eh. You feel me? But with that being said, you guys take care. And I love you. I love you anyway. I might not fuck with you. But I love you. Be blessed, okay? <laughs>